In this container we have stonefly larva. There's two species. This bigger one is the giant one. And right here sitting on the stick is the common stonefly. Down there so you can see him better. And they do something called push-ups when they need oxygen extra oxygen more than they're just getting by being in the water they go like that you see it doing a push up up and down and he's moving his body to swish the water over his gills which are between the legs and the gills can't move so the body has to move so that's what they call stonefly push ups and the giant one does push ups too but he does more of a sideways see him going sideways back and forth there he does sideways push-ups. Stone flies are a very good indicator of water quality. They're actually a better indicator of water quality than water testing is. Our class tested the water in our local creek and we didn't find anything alarming about the water. There wasn't like a huge amount of nitrates or phosphates or you know anything wrong with the pH. But we didn't find was these guys. Now the ones I have here are from a different part of the creek. But the part where the class was, we did not find these. Someone gave these to us. So it was uh, an indicator that the part of the creek that my class was in, the water was not so good and in fact I know for sure that that part of the creek has experienced pollution issues over the years. So this larva will develop into an adult stonefly. So the larva will spend anywhere from a half a year to two years in the water and then it will go through um, the final stage of pupating, just like a butterfly does, into turning into a winged adult. Notice how nicely camouflaged the stonefly larva is there on the rock. And then the giant one is nicely camouflaged on top of the stick. So it's kind of interesting that they each went to the place in this little container where they're most camouflaged. They kind of naturally gravitated to that.